Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different in that I'm going to take you for a walk around my local supermarket and I'm going to point out the differences and unique features of a Russian supermarket. Now I know already there's quite a few different things in the supermarket here that's not in Australia for instance, not in America, Canada, England and I thought this video would be kind of interesting to point out uh, a few of the unique things that I don't think you see anywhere else in the world and I hope it's kind of interesting. So let's go on inside and have a look around. So one thing that's uh, different here to a lot of countries is you can get frozen fruit and vegetables which is basically pay by weight. So you'll actually get yourself a plastic bag similar to what you put fruit and veg in and you actually just scoop what vegetables you want or fruits. Here you'll see strawberries, uh, raspberries, cauliflower, beans, broccoli and then you come over to the scales over here and you weigh out exactly how much you want. And then also they've got the frozen seafood as well. So here you've got fish fingers and kind of like fish nuggets for kids. And then you've got an entire freezer here of frozen fish. So different varieties, different brands. And there's even mixed seafood here. And then again, you just scoop it into a bag and it's pay by weight. And there's an awful lot of it. It's kind of on this side over here. Look at all the different shrimps and prawns. Yeah, this is kind of a uh, frozen seafood kind of freezer here. And let's have a look on the other side. And then here on the other side as well, they've got a lot more varieties of frozen fish. Now it may not look particularly appealing like this, but it's definitely a much cheaper and more economical way to buy fish, particularly if you want to make fish soups or you're going to defrost them and put them on a barbecue for summertime. So it's a much cheaper way than buying actual fresh fish. And you can see here there's a few people kind of, uh, they basically prepare the bags and then put the fish in and then weigh them out. Simple as that. Now making bread may not be a unique thing uh, for just Russia, you know, there's a lot of uh, bakeries around the world in uh, different countries, but here in Russia they make all their own bread in-house. This is actually kind of the production room and you'll see there's a lady just off in the back there weighing off some ingredients and then they've got a huge bakery here in the back Now it's probably not easy to see and you'll see here the guy here making the the bread right here and then this is the kiln where he puts them in and it's really cool uh, how he does this and then all of the uh, prepared breads here so they're all shrink wrapped going back only a few years ago this was all open bread and you could literally just <laughs> touch it as it was but now they've got it all in like a cling film and then another thing that's kind of unique which I haven't seen anywhere else is there's a bread slicer right here so you can actually buy the loaf of bread as it is right over here on the right hand side and then you can slice your own bread it's kind of a bit hard to see from this angle here, but you can see the bakery off in the back and then all of these uh, kind of uh, trays of bread that's already ready and then the once they're packaged, you'll see the lady here kind of putting them out uh, straight away. So you can literally get them baked within five minutes or a half an hour or an hour and you can see all the bread back there. And then it's kind of really like a, almost like an industrial bakery and this is just in a regular supermarket. And then I'll kind of jump right in here. They've actually got their own pastries and uh, cake section as well. So they actually make the cakes kind of in sheet variety. And then you buy them by 100 gram weight. And then they've got this really nice selection of uh, different cakes and uh, little uh, kind of, I don't know what you'd call them, kind of uh, like flans and different things like that. And amazing. Now, I wonder how many people in the world have a supermarket where they actually tap their own beer. Yes, these are beer taps right here. Now, they're actually unmarked, so basically the staff do all this for you. But they've got plastic bottles, which are very similar to kind of like Coke or Pepsi bottles. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it right here, because it's kind of 
the kind of the raw process. So they've basically got the plastic bottles right here that they put on the tap and it pressurizes the beer that generally come in one liter or two liter sizes. And then they actually label them up right here. You'll see there's the labeling gun and they also timestamp them so they know obviously the, what date they've got them uh, made. And they put them right on the shelf over on this side over here. So these are all basically tap beers essentially. And you're buying them in plastic bottles. Uh, but they're basically tapped and brewed uh, in house, so to speak. And this guy over here is the kind of the brewmaster. And he uh, prepares the beer as, as needed on the shelf as it runs out. Simple as that. Now, another thing which is kind of unique here in Russia is pick and mix candy or basically pay by weight candy. Now, this particular supermarket has an entire aisle of it. So you've got a lot to choose from. And again, you basically buy them by weight. So you put them in a kind of a plastic bag, again, like fruit and veg style, vegetable style bags. And then you just weigh them out. And there's a lot of varieties here, especially some from the uh, pre-Soviet times. So if, uh, they've stopped sort of selling them in normal packaging. You can still buy them by weight here in sort of bulk amounts. And everybody's sort of coming to kind of reminisce and have a look at some of the uh, older candy that's not as common in a lot of the uh, convenience stores anymore. So then you kind of have a little bowl on your kitchen counter or maybe at work you take a bowl to work for everyone to share and you just weigh them out like you see the lady doing over here. So this is the fruit and veg section and of course this is like any other anywhere in the world. Uh, it's obviously a lot busier today and uh, a lot of people out shopping. This is actually a lot busier than when I normally come here so and this is midweek in the afternoon but there's a couple of things that are kind of unique here so the first one I'm going to show you is right in front of me right here and these are potatoes. Now very commonly in Russia you buy unwashed potatoes. So basically these are straight from the field, they're not treated, there's nothing really done to them. They're not even literally washed, so unwashed potatoes. And you've also got unwashed carrots over there and unwashed beetroot. So commonly in Australia and in America and different countries, you're going to buy your vegetables washed. Uh, but the thing is it puts the price up, so you can take them home, wash them how you like, and you save quite a fair bit of money. So one thing that's uh, also quite different here is how you <laughs> is how you actually weigh the fruit and vegetables. So you basically uh, bring your item over, put it on the scale, simple as that, and then someone else is going to do it for me right here as well. And then you uh, get the sticker and put it right on the bag, and you're done. So it's all an honor system versus most countries where you'd actually take your uh, item to the register and they'd actually weigh it for you right there. And you'll see here all the most popular items first and if you've got something different you just key in the number like that 24 sticker comes out and you're done another thing I want to point out that's a little bit unique here is considering how big the supermarkets are in Russia they have very little frozen food now there's only two frozen food kind of aisles I guess you would call it and primarily this one on the right hand side has got all the frozen food in it and then over on this side it's pretty much all ice creams and there's literally some right in front of me just here some ice creams and then uh, the entire aisle on that left hand side and then the last part over here there's a little bit of frozen vegetables here but <laughs> very little and then the ice cream continues further down so it's just interesting how little frozen food there is in Russia Obviously the country itself produces so much uh, food in the country. There's no need for frozen food really. And you'll see here there's pretty much nobody in this aisle whatsoever uh, looking for anything. Which is kind of interesting when you compare it to how many people are over in the uh, fruit and vegetable section off in the distance. Yeah. 
Another thing that's unique here in one of the Russian supermarkets is that you can buy coffee by weight as well. So you can actually choose the different type that you'd like. These are mostly all bean coffees and then you've actually got the scales right here. Similar to how the fruit and veg and the fish was. And you just weigh out what you need and you're good to go. Actually just looking at the overall coffee section here. So now Starbucks has left Russia, right? So if you know that already. But you can still buy all of their coffee in the supermarkets. So they've actually got the pods and then the beans. And then actually the sheer size of the coffee and tea section is uh, what's very interesting. An entire one side of the aisle just of different types of coffee. And then over here is all the teas. So it's just uh, the immense amount of choices you've got in Russia is what really to point out in this sort of part of the video. Now I think pointing out the egg section is something also a little bit unique here. So in Russia, very typically all the eggs are not refrigerated. So they're only uh, on normal shelves. So over here's all of the uh, six or 10 box eggs. And over here they've got a ton of different types of these 30 tray eggs. So this is kind of a common size in Russia is to buy them in trays of 30. And you can see how many different varieties they've got. And then over here is your boxes of 10. Now I did see quite a few comments on someone else's video about that they'd never seen a box of six eggs before. Now these have been in Russia for years and years and years. And it's not shrinkflation as someone has pointed out. It's just another way to buy them. So not everybody needs 10 eggs and you can buy six. Now I'm just going to film the floor for a little bit. Now this is kind of intentional because I just want to show you here how a lot of people like to shop in Russia. They don't get full shopping baskets. They like to get these like little hand trucks. You can see them here. There's quite a few of them here in this fruit and veg section. And this is the very popular way to come shopping here in uh, Russia. It kind of limits you to how much you want to buy and carry, but you'll see uh, them around a lot more in the uh, supermarket than you would see anywhere else. Uh, these little ones on wheels, you'll see people just pushing them around. So I'm not filming the floor on purpose, but I just thought I'd point out that these uh, baskets are very popular. As one person goes past with a trolley. So have a look how busy this fruit and veg section still is. Now I'm actually still in the same supermarket, but I'm actually in their cafe. So Globus here has its own cafe. Now these are kind of a thing of the past now uh, in Australia. They've been gone for a lot of years, but you can basically get uh, your lunch or dinner here. Here's the uh, vegetables and fruit section. And there's a lot of people waiting here to get pancakes. There's a lady here that's making fresh pancakes right here. Check this out. You'll see here. She's very skilled. She's doing three pans at the same time. How she doesn't burn herself, I don't know, but you'll see the supermarket just off in the background. And then over here, there's also all of the uh, hot prepared food, soups, salads, fish, meat, and everybody loves to come here for uh, lunch or dinner. So, and this is in the middle of everyone doing shopping. So you'll see a few people with trolleys, but most people are basically just walking around coming for a meal in here. There's also uh, hot and cold drinks over here. And it's very nice. And this is in the supermarket. We're still in the supermarket. And then you just basically do the payment over here with the ladies and you go and sit down and there's even an upstairs area to sit. There's desserts over there. And it's very nice in a supermarket in Russia. Another thing that might be different here as well, which is not pretty typical in Australia where I'm from and America as well is they don't have like the uh, the kind of uh, celebrity magazines and all those uh, kind of gossip magazines they have kids books here in the supermarket and these are all the different types of kids books reading books activity books and how cool is that that there's no uh, celebrity uh, I don't know gossip uh, magazines that you can buy I think the one thing that doesn't really change in Russia and anywhere around the world is uh, the checkout to pay for things. Now we're at number 58 over here, so, and pretty much 
every second one is open through the whole supermarket so this doesn't change anywhere in the world but I thought it was worth pointing out okay everybody so I've got my shopping done I've got a couple of bags of things I've got to carry home I do hope you've enjoyed this video and a bit of a walk around and uh, you've maybe noticed some big differences or maybe small differences compared to the uh, supermarket where you live in the world let me know in the comments have you seen any of these things in the supermarket where you live do you want to come to Russia just to come shopping? And uh, let me know, do you like some of these differences? It's kind of interesting, I think, uh, all the unique differences between uh, when I compare it to Australia and then here in Russia. So thanks for coming Traveling with Russell. I put another video to watch up in the corner. Maybe you can check that out after this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. I've got no hands free because I'm carrying my shopping. So yeah, post a comment and thanks for watching Traveling with Russell. I'm off on another adventure, so catch you later. Bye.